everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a super easy and healthy crock pot slow cooker meal that I think you guys are really gonna love. It's a picante chicken, it's delicious and there's not a whole lot of ingredients that goes into it so it's very fast. I really love using my slow cooker all year round, even throughout summer because you can just chuck a salad with it and make it summery that way. So everything is really healthy, it's affordable and super easy to make. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and be sure to comment down below and let me know if you would like any more meal inspiration ideas or slow cooker recipes. I love getting in the kitchen and cooking, so I'd love to create more videos for you guys, especially mums with young children where you don't have a lot of time. And this is just amazing because the slow cooker does it all for you. So all you have to do is do that little bit of prep work and then it's done and you don't have to think about it. Okay, so let's jump on into the video. So this particular recipe calls for four boneless, skinless chicken breasts, one green capsicum, one jar of hot salsa, a third a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of prepared mustard, and I'm going to go ahead and use hot English mustard, and some tasty cheese to sprinkle on top, and I'll be serving this meal with white rice. And I'm actually going to go ahead and double the quantity of the chicken, salsa and mustard as I'll be preparing a larger serving size. To begin, I'm going to slice any of my larger chicken breasts in half just to ensure that these cook through evenly. And then I'll move on to my capsicum and I'll begin cutting that up into strips and then halving those strips again. And I've already preheated my slow cooker to high, so I'll be cooking this particular meal on high for four to five hours. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken breasts and my capsicum, and then move on to making my salsa mixture to go over the top. To begin, I'm going to add my first jar of salsa into a bowl and then follow it up with my two tablespoons of mustard. And lastly, I'm gonna add in a third of a cup of packed brown sugar. Now, I'm not gonna double my quantity of sugar because I do like to try and keep my meals as healthy as possible by keeping salts and sugars to a minimum. And then you'll see I'm going to take a slice of bread and add it to my brown sugar. And this just stops your sugar from hardening. So it's a good little trick for you guys to know. And once that mixture is all combined, I'm going to go ahead and take my second jar of salsa and add that one into the mix as well. Now it's time to pour our sauce over our capsicum and chicken. So I'm just gonna scrape all of that out of the bowl into the slow cooker and then mix everything around really evenly to make sure the sauce goes right down into the bottom of the slow cooker as well. And then I'll pop the lid back on and come back in another hour or so and just give everything another stir again. And I like to do this hourly, just stir everything around, just to make sure everything's being cooked evenly. And oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how amazing this smells. Oh, I could eat this every day. So it's been about five hours now that my chicken has been cooking. And I've just done a little test on it to make sure it's nice and white and fluffy in the center. And it is, so it is ready to be served. And I just love how few ingredients go into this meal, yet it is such a tasty dish. And here it is all plated or bold, should I say. <laughs> so as you can see, I've made a larger serving size because I like to always make a spare meal for Tones to take to work the next day. So we've got the three adult meals at the top and then the three children's meals down the bottom. 
and I don't really add any of the sauce to the kids meals because it does have a little bit of spice to it and they're not huge into spice but it's still just as tasty because all that yummy goodness and flavoring has sunk into the chicken so it tastes just as glorious and they absolutely love it and today I've chosen to serve our picante chicken with white rice but you could go ahead and serve it with mashed potato or couscous and I like to follow it up with a little bit of grated cheese sprinkled on top and you can also add sour cream too. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to see more and if you go ahead and make this meal be sure to tag me in your pictures on Instagram as I'd love to see what you come up with. Bye guys!